here is my old smoker. Had it about maybe six years. And the lid doesn't even fit on there anymore. The lid's supposed to be attached there also, it's not. It's just a pain to work with. So I got Smoker 2.0 here. Here's the unveiling of the new smoker. It's a little bit like opening up a brand new iPhone 10, but different. There you have it. Brand new smoker. The lid is attached. This is going to be great. The bees finished pollinating quite a while ago, so I need to get these hives moved. And I was, as I was doing that, I noticed that some bees made a nest right here on this kiwi vine. Probably what happened, some bees split from one of the hives, formed a swarm, landed here, but couldn't find a permanent home, so they started one here. I'm going through each of the hives to take out a little bit of honey from each one, if there's some extra, and I'm getting ready to move them. They've been in the kiwis pollinating, but now the kiwis are uh, are getting bigger. It's uh, a good time to be moving these bees out. So here we go. One thing about kiwi blossoms is that they don't produce very much nectar. And the nectar is really important to uh, get the bees to come and pollinate. They get that nectar as a reward for pollinating. Well, we put extra hives out just to really make sure that the pollination went well and that plenty of kiwis were able to be produced. But actually the bees seem to do pretty well. They uh, made some honey, so can't wait to extract some of that and uh, try some kiwi honey. Another thing they had going for them is that there was nothing else blooming while those kiwis were blooming. Uh, right, right behind there, there's um, some uh, some almond trees, but they were far past blooming. This one actually has a pretty good amount of honey in it. Looks like it might be able to take out a little bit. <laughs> 